The electric eel sneaking up on you. Use the hair dryer. Smedley, what exploded in here? It's like tan speckle. Shh. David Hasselhoff had a change of heart. He's offering the eel mouth to mouth. Ugh. Gross. We'll be right back after these messages. Oh, man. They always do that. They always put the commercials at the most exciting parts. It's to make sure you keep watching instead of running to the fridge. <laughs> yeah, well, their mind powers will not work on me. Of course not. You need a mind. Ah. El Mucho Bean Burrito. <laughs> I'll heat it in the microwave this time. Smedley, would you mind? Mind what? Answering the phone. I'm a little busy here. What? The phone's closer to you. It's on top of the stove. <sighs> Just watch out for the... Ah! 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 Soup I've got cooking. Oh, and look out for the... Mouse traps. Oh, and be careful of the freshly painted thumbtack collection I've got drying up there. I get it. Hello? No, David E. doesn't reside here. Oh, but he lives here. Mm -hmm. Our address? Sure, 1660 Romero Lane, Tampa, Florida. Sure. Yeah, he's about um, five foot two. Mm -hmm. Brown hair. Yep. Oh, the front door's unlocked and we're both home. Oakley Doakley, bye. Smelly, who was that? Oh, I don't know, some guy named Nigel. Wait, you don't know who that was and you gave out all that information? Are you nuts? Shh, shh, look. Attention Baywatch fans, are you tired of being the scrawny little wimp? Are you sick of getting pushed around? Do you eat big bean burritos for breakfast? Yes. Are your arms sagging splinters instead of tenacious timber logs? Are your legs repulsive rubber bands instead of mountains of massive muscle? Yes. Then get off that couch and listen to this. How would you like to change your life, impress all of your friends, and look just like me? Well, it's time to order Beefcake in a Box. That's right, for just 17 easy payments of just $29.99, even you can look like all of your favorite Babe Watch stars. To order your beefcake in a box, just pick up the phone if it's not too heavy. Dial 555-BEEF. That's right, 555-BEEF. Running slow motion on the beach has never looked so good. It's beefcake in a box. Order now. <laughs> what kind of idiot would order something like that? Hello? Yes. Please send one beef kick in a box at 1616 Romero Lane, Tampa, Florida. Thank you. Boy, that was fast. Wait, wait, wait what, what if it's that guy that was calling earlier? What if he's some psycho? What if he's stalking me? Yeah, like one of those psychotic movie guys that drives up in a long, white, stretched limousine and gets out and has some kind of big grudge. Like that one? Uh-oh. Oh, Smedley, you just had to give him our address, didn't you? Well... There is a solution to this, you know. We could just look out the door and see who's there. Come on. Come on, you're coming with me. I'm not doing this alone. Come on. Come on. What do you see? I see a bullseye. Oh, that's right. We don't have a people. This is ridiculous. I'm just going to answer it. Whew. You know, if this were a TV show, we'd probably go to a commercial right now. Hello?
I think it's my burrito exploding. Well, he came to see you, so I'm just gonna take off. Hey, hey, ah! Back here, stay right there. Hello, David. Remember me? I've been looking for you. David D. TV, a Smedley production, will be back after these messages. What? We're on? <laughs> and now back to David D. TV. Oh my gosh, it's you. I, I barely recognized you. Die, psycho scum, die. Smedley, die. Smedley, no, 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 excuse die. my friend Smedley. He's having a Hasselhoff aerobic moment. Mm -hmm. See, Smedley, this is Ed, Ed Lebowski, my best friend from like the third grade. Well, I hope I didn't scare you, but I had to look you up. Huh. Oh, <clears throat> hi. Uh, <laughs> he thought you were a psychotic killer. <laughs> no, no, uh, Ed, Ed, you look, uh, you look different. Well, my name's not Ed anymore. It's Nigel. Nigel? And your, your, your voice, it's... Well, I've, uh, I've changed that too. I've changed everything about myself. For you see, in my line of work, I have to go through some sort of metamorphosis every six months, for I am <laughs> Nigel, the supermodel. Supermodel? Um... Ed Lebowski, a supermodel? I, I, I remember when you were eating weeds and dirt on the playground and picking your nose. Yeah, right. But those days are long gone. Now I travel the world in jets and limos, and I stay in plush hotel suites. So, what have you been up to? Oh, you know, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. You know, I do some modeling myself. You do? Oh, yeah. You mean the Polaroid, the polyester peats? Oh, man. You look so dorky in those golf pants. <laughs> Smedley! Well, 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 we're doing a photo shoot for one of the hippest designers in town. And I thought I'd pop in and see what all the little people were up to. Uh, no offense, dude. Wow, really? A big time photo shoot? You? Yes, yes, yes. Well, it's really a uh, hush hush. I don't have time to take you there, but I do have some time to kill. Hey, I know. How would you like to go for a ride in my stretch limo? Really? Uh, yeah. Let me, um, let me clean up. I'll be right back. All right. Oh, man. What a dump. Don't tell me you live here, too. Uh, yeah. Well, I've never had a roomie. I find them to always be in the way. You know, I used to eat weeds, and I've always wanted to travel in a limo. I think I'd like to be a supermodel. <laughs> you? A supermodel? That's a good one. It takes a great many qualities to be a supermodel, of which you have none of. Calling you a supermodel would be like calling David Hasselhoff a real actor. It's laughable. Ha! <sighs> be a chum, would you? And uh, tell Dave I'll be right back. I have to go check my fax machine in the limo. Man, insulting David is one thing. Cutting me down is another. But when you insult the world's greatest actor, David Hasselhoff, you have gone too far. Oh, look at me. I'm Nigel, the supermodel. I'm so much better than everyone else in the entire world. I just love me. Oh, me, me, me. <laughs> oh. Whoops. Oh, my goodness. That's terrible. Whoops, 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 whoops,
Really? Uh -huh. What are oh, you doing? It was an accident. It was an accident? These just accidentally slipped underneath your stomping feet? <sighs> Schmidley's always been kind of a jerk, even in the third grade, but that doesn't give you the right to break his stuff. Where do we put the wacky glue? And stuck to the bottom of the remote. Oh no, 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 no. Oh great, he's coming! We'll never get it fixed in time. Uh, uh, hide the evidence! So many adoring fans, so little time. Did I uh, misplace my glasses? I hope I didn't leave them in here. I paid $500 for those. <coughs> uh, you probably left them in the limo. Uh, probably. Mind if I use a little boys room before we jet? Thanks. Oh, great. <laughs> Look! Yes, I see. It's the ugliest head in the world. Now, would you please get the glasses out? No, that's what I'm saying. The glasses are stuck. Everything's stuck. There's wacky glue all over everything. <laughs> I can't get it off. Well, of course you can't. That wacky glue is strong enough to hang a construction worker by his hard hat. Trust me. Oh, no. No, 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 no. He's coming. Here, come on. Help me. Pull, pull, pull. One, two, three. All righty, let's roll. Where's David? Oh, he's, um... Ouch! Right over there. Oh. <laughs> there it is! I knew I left my favorite hat back behind the couch. That monstrosity is a hat! Oh, yeah! Yeah, everybody's wearing them. Everybody that's got it going on. Well, well let me see it. No, no, you can't. I, uh, I, uh... Have head lice. Yeah, head lice, but nothing major, just a quick case of it. <laughs> Minute lice. Well, I must have one. Let's go get me one. Psst, David, where are the glasses? I'll give you one guess right off the top of your head. Ooh, I'd have to say, inside the hat, glued to the top of your head. <laughs> Bingo. Oh, Davey, hurry up. Chop, chop, let's go. So, uh, where did you purchase your hat? Uh, I can't really recall. Um, you know when I said uh, everybody was wearing them? Right. What I meant to say was uh, some people, uh, a few people were uh, occasionally wearing them. Well, if <laughs> anyone starts a trend before me and starts wearing a hat, I become very upset. It's my job as a supermodel to get everyone to look just like me. Well, you know, instead of the hat, I'd really rather just go see your photo shoot. No! No, 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 no! No time. Only time to get the hat. So get in. In Wait, you go. But watch yourself. Whoa. Come on, Chacha. Let's go. Nigel, the supermodel. Whew. There's something not quite right about that guy. I've never had a roomie. I find them to be in the way. You, a supermodel? Ha! Huh, that's laughable. Ugh. He thinks his leather pants don't stink. You know, you can take that thing off in here. Oh, no, that, that, that's okay, uh, you know, hat head. <laughs> right. So, Ed. Nigel. It's Nigel. Nigel. Looks like you've done uh, pretty good for yourself here. This I had. It's the Excalibur 2000, the only way to travel. It's got a satellite dish, a fax machine, an onboard computer, and a neat little cooler for sodas. Man, it must be uh, pretty awesome being a supermodel. Well, yeah, it is, except for the fact that everyone wants to pretend they are you. They do? Yeah, it's like, Nigel, your haircut. I'm going to cut mine just like yours. Or, Nigel, your jacket is to die for. I'm going to get one just like it. It must be nice being such a little person like you and not have to worry about setting trends like me. Yeah, I'm sure it's a curse. Welcome to the exciting new world of Beefcake in a Box. 
Get ready to be transported to a whole new world of beauty and popularity beyond your wildest dreams. The first transformation will be that scrawny little body of yours. At this time, you will need the body band o -matic, which should be located inside the beefcake in a box. That's right, the body band o -matic. Now just use that tiny body's natural resistance for the ultimate workout, like this. I can see you're having trouble with the body shaping, so let's move on. Good call. <laughs> Did you see the way everyone was staring at me? It's got to be the new hat. Yeah, Nigel, I'm pretty sure it was the hat they were looking at. You stick with me, Davy, and I'll make you as hip as I am. Excuse me? Well, I guess you're right. Nobody can be as hip as I am, but you'll get it if you keep working at it. But I was the one who... That... Never mind. Hey, listen, now that we're all dressed up, you want to go get something to eat? Are you insane? Me? Eat? Never before a photo shoot. But that reminds me, I've got to get you home so I can prepare for greatness. So, no, no, in you go, just, in no, you go, no, catch up. All right, it looks like we're well rested and ready for phase two, the face replace. That's right, get rid of that big nose and those bulgy eyes quickly and painlessly with one of the many face replace replacement systems you'll find inside Beefcake in a Box. It's glorious! It's just, I haven't seen you since the third grade. Right. I figured it'd be cool to go to a photo shoot with you. Well, I'd love to, but it's a, a close set. Now little people are that. You know, I heard you say that to my friend, and I don't think that he appreciates it. Besides, when I show up wearing a killer new hat like this, I don't want everyone thinking it was your idea. <laughs> Hello? It was my idea. I can't believe that. You, you are such a... What? You know, I don't think I want to hang with you anymore. I think I want out. I think I want out of this limo right now. You could have stopped the limo first. Thank you. We're coming back with more David D TV right after these messages. We're back. More David D. TV. Honey, I'm home. Did you notice anything different about me? Who said that? Wow. Success beyond my wildest dreams. You're just in time for phase three. Phase three? Mm hmm. Tan in a can. Tan in a can? Yeah, it's said in a videotape to spray evenly all over the body for a deep, dark, babe luscious tan. So watch out for the eyes. You know, Smedley, I don't want you to feel bad about this, this whole hat being stuck on my head thing. I mean, it's not your fault. It's that phony Nigel or Ed or whatever he's calling himself. I just, I was so busy trying to impress him, I didn't see how he was treating us. You know, I mean, oh. He treated you lousy, I'm sorry. You know, I, I, supermodel or not, I just wish he wasn't such a jerk. Well, how's that? Well, it certainly is a deep, dark tan. All right, 
Good. I'm going to uh, see if hot water will take this thing off. <coughs> oh, oh, hey, wait a minute. Come here. Uh, bend over. What is it? Oh, nothing. Go ahead. Just look out for the... Oh, never mind. Hello? London Limos? Yes, I'd like some information on one of your clients. Mm -hmm. Yes, Nigel the supermodel. Oh, really? Now that is very interesting. Thank you, you've been very helpful. Hey, David. I gotta go out for a while. I'll have a big surprise for you when I get back. See ya. Smedley. What surprise? Smedley, where did you go? Smedley! <laughs> Busted. <laughs> Two, three. That was pain. Ouch. Aha! Ah! You, me. Yes, you, the so-called supermodel. Oh, this, this isn't what it looks like. I, You're a I'm, busted, baby. Uh, You're a phony, uh, a fake. I can explain everything. I'm here as a... Uh, Excuse uh, me, but the voice doesn't match the pants. You're right. I'm a phony. I just wanted to impress my old friend so much, I made up this whole supermodel thing. The look, the clothes, the attitude. Yeah, well, you had that part down solid. The limo isn't even mine. Oh, really? I knew that. I bet you didn't even pay two bucks for those sunglasses you had on before. No, th those were mine. I, I actually did pay $500 for those. But that's not the point, see? <clears throat> What's important right now is that you tell David the truth. Because he's at home right now, and he's worrying about impressing you. You probably didn't see it, but he and I are, well, we're best friends, and he is one class act. Ah! Yeah, fun! Two, three, ah, yes, victory, it's coming. One, two, three. Ah! Come on, I still got 45 minutes left in the limo rental. Where are we going, Nigel? To mend something I've broken, if there's still time. And by the way, call me Ed. So I thought if I just pretended I was a supermodel, everybody would think I was successful. But I was wrong. Everybody just thought I was a jerk. Yeah, I guess I've done some pretending on my own. I mean, we both would have been better off if we just would have been ourselves. Shake? Absolutely. Hey, by the way, sorry about those glasses. Glasses? Yeah, as soon as I get a chance, I'll David, fix them. I... Um, do you think it's time to get that silly hat off your head? Oh, yes, Ed, would you mind? I've been trying all day, and all I can get is a stupid headache. No problem. Ouch. Ready? One, two. If Smedley doesn't break anything, we'll be back with more after this.
We're back. More David D. TV. Hey, Smedley, hurry up. Ed's going to be here any second for the movies. I don't even know why I'm going with you guys. What? He said you guys bonded once he told the truth. Well, it isn't that. I wouldn't even be able to see the screen. Smedley, the glue's going to wear off in 36 to 48 hours, and I'm not leaving you here alone like I was. Well, it just better not charge me. Hey, you guys ready to go? Yes. Come on, Smedley. Oh, by the way, I fixed your glasses. Yeah. Except I set them down to dry, and I really haven't seen them since. I think I found him. He's not sitting in front of us at the movies, is he? <sighs> hey, I heard that. Smedley, who is that? I don't know, but I'm a little more than just a head here. Yeah, well, their mind powers will not work on me. Uh, of course not. You need a mind. I dropped my burrito! Ah! Yeah, well, oh no! <laughs> Third grade? Well, I, I hope I didn't give you a scare, but I had to look you up. Oh. <clears throat> Hi. I've got that Marty Feldman thing going again. I think I want out of this limo. I want out of this limo right now! <laughs> Can we, uh, I looked right out of me. I was trying to give you a kiss. Your face is like this. 